Hi, this is Misha. And this is Fox. And we want to do kind of an end. We've been the last couple of years doing end of the year top videos. I think last year was AKs. This year it was pretty clear. Top three guns, three for each of us, so a total of six, braced pistols that we went to grab, like, hey, we want to go shoot. And then we couldn't because of the whole crazy situation that was finally rectified last month. Finally. So we're, we haven't actually told each other our picks. His are out, but obviously I can't see them. Mine are in their cases. So we're just going to go through three guns each that we really wanted to shoot. Kind of our favorites or just... Well, and not only wanted to shoot, but, you know, even do a video review on or a yeah. test. Some of these guns were guns that I waited months to get and got and actually had mm -hmm. started doing some reviews on but needed to finish. And, yeah, I mean... It's just nice to have some braces back. And I did check right before this. Now, when you watch this video, it could be different. But as of now, the ATF has given no directives to FFLs. Everything seems copacetic again. So that's the best information we have that it's pretty much been out. And before we get going, uh, as usual, you know this blurb. Uh, give like, us your share, money. Like, share, subscribe. Pitch on Patreon if you can, please. Because that's getting really desperate, guys. And then also join us on live streams. We've been kind of aiming for Thursday nights, but we'll get more oh. nailed down. We, we we got the YouTube live streaming. Next step is working on StreamYard. StreamYard. So we'll get there. But we're be patient. Hang out. We appreciate all the new followers and new folks. Notice there's been some new subscribers and people dipping in to the uh, Patreon and. Yeah. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, definitely. It's what keeps this thing, this train a rolling. And sincerely, yeah, because it's, it's, it ain't the money. No, no. It's so, before we go out shooting, what's your, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to present our guns to each other, and then we're going to go shoot a bit and talk. So, you're first. I'll go first, and this was a gun that I've wanted for quite some time, and let's just start with the POF MP5. This is the quote-unquote full-size version, not the POF MP5K, which I did like more than this gun, but after really getting to play with this a little bit, I like the bigger size a little That's more. That's me too. That's yeah. the one I kept as the, the full. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. This is just a, it's a great gun. You're not out the money that the MP5 cost, and I just, having this threaded yeah. barrel out here, it, it's just. Let me just, see how you, what yeah. price you Well, it's all spray-painted, and you know, it's. See, for mine, I went with the uh, the collapsing brace. But there's well, no, now that one no, does that one does collapse. This it's just from folks. Yeah, folks. I went I'm with sorry. The collapsing. Yeah, but both are fine. Yeah, there's yeah. no wrong way. They had a great deal on those at the time I got it, and I bought two of them. And you know, it's are there better braces? Could I get the HK? Absolutely. But you know I've, what? I've got one of these, but, but it's for the K. Yeah, it worked out good. Yeah. And there will be things I change I in on this, but unless you change the grip too. Yeah, yeah. All right. So my first one, if I grab the right case. I had these arranged then I didn't. It's one that we've had on the channel a lot that you've seen before, but I really just enjoy shooting the Brugger and oh, Dumbass. Yeah. I knew it was coming. That yep. would have been that would have been my guess for you. This is such a good shooter, man. This, yeah, I like I like and this is OEM, mm -hmm. you know, not one to put on, so I like that it's there, a tail hook. I just it, it, this thing just works. It works. It's such a... This is what I picture when you're talking a military spec yeah. ops pistol. Oh, I mean, it is. This, yeah, it's, it's U.S. military. It, it, this right here covers those perfectly. I took that in on trade during the coup. I forget what the guy wanted. I, I like those SCWs, but they were way too much money for the special edition. Right. So I got it in there. And I mostly got it as a collectible, but... Damn, is it not also it's just such a good fun shooter. to shoot? It is, man. It's, it's it's great to be pleasantly surprised, and that's one I've really missed getting out this year. Well, and BNT is just one of those guns. If you own one, you need to shoot it, even if it's yeah. a collectible. I, and I encourage that for the, everyone. Yeah, yeah, I mean, these are just guns that. Yeah, I don't know. If if you haven't got the experience with one of these, they're they're awesome. They give yeah. the MP5 such a run for their money. And what I like about the brace you've chose for this, or they well, chose, yeah. yeah, yeah, is how long it is. It's most braces I've noticed are usually about what seem to be nine inches. Well, it, it's 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 the, under the I think what twelve inches is correct. the legal limit. So right. it's right, it, but it's under. It's legal. Yeah. And it, if it's it, not, it's not my fault. Blame BNT. It, it's just perfect, man. Yeah. This is a great gun. 
Yeah. Man, good and, choice. And once Very upon a time, choice. those mags were hard to get, and they're not mm -hmm. super easy, but they've gotten a lot easier and cheaper to get than they were. That was really the only down mm -hmm. style or down with that is that it didn't take the Glock mags, but honestly, a proprietary, well, I you, mean... You can get the Glock version. Of course you could. Yeah. But I, I, I like the b and I do too. I do too. So, good choice. Young the buff. Oh, let me go ahead and jump into this one, because this was a gun I got literally in January, and this is going to be the Glil Ace 7.62 pistol. And We actually have shooting footage yeah. that we made before everything went nuts that I right. wasn't able to use. Yeah, and this... I, this is probably one of my favorite AK pistols. Uh, first off, I love the Galil Aces, this uh, new version. Uh, what are these, Gen 3s now? Let me see what you got. Yeah. Here you go. But that, that's one I've, so that's the, I've wanted to break out multiple times and shoot. So you swapped out the, uh, well, never mind, you've got the Gen 2, yeah. Cause, see, I've got the Gen 1 with the rock and locks, and it yes. has the non-adjustable, but it's the, so yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah it's are... just a smooth shooter. It's a gun that I, I wanted to break out multiple times for the channel over the summer and just had to kind of go, meh, and put it back yeah. in safe. But like I said, we were going to do a video and even had some shooting, but it mm -hmm. just, uh, you couldn't do it. Yeah, these are technically Gen 2s, but I know what you're saying because yeah, there, yeah. there is kind of a Gen 1.5. Yeah. So it's a little confusing. That's a good way to put it. It's a Gen 2.5. Yeah. But yeah, smooth shooter, great gun. I enjoy it. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll jump into some. Yeah, some um, others. This is one that's been on the channel, but you've not fired. What I do? Oh you? man, does it have LMT on it? No. Okay. Ooh, Midwest. Uh, Midwest. Yep. I see it now. These are the takedowns. The full on. Yeah. Uh, these things are awesome. And this yeah. is it. Came with the brace from uh -huh. there, uh, but yeah, I actually picked this up during COVID. Actually, one of the last guns mm -hmm. I picked up still with Jay. Oh, man. Because he got one. And, you know, it was, a, cool it, was, it was an impulse pickup, but yeah. it's turned out really well. And I don't see them anymore. Maybe they're out there, but it seems like they were just on the market and then gone. Man, I would be curious on um, what, what longevity of with accuracy these things are. Because these things are awesome. I mean, dude, yeah. the, the ability to be able to take a an AR-15 and just completely collapse it all mm -hmm. up and take it apart and... Yeah, I would imagine the longevity is pretty good since they passed military testing. But that is true. That, no. Then again, but they are more of a survival gun than a battle gun. Correct. So. Well, it is Midwest. I mean, you know, they're, yeah. they're not making just junk. And it, they do come with those uh, flip up uh, iron sides. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty well stocked. I think the only thing I added is the sling. I like how and, it comes with the... And the rail the, covers. I put those on. Yeah. I love how it comes with an Ambi uh, safety right out mm -hmm. of the box. I, I like this pistol grip. Yeah, the little really do. one. Yeah. yeah, I like it. It's comfy and it yeah. works well. I add a little bit of uh, electrical tape just to kind of keep it from wiggling. But that's that's just yeah, that's I, kind I of always do that. Yeah, it's do hard that. not to do. Yeah, I just, that, just that way you don't have hard too. plastic on yeah. there. You got rubber on rubber. But this yeah, is great man. That's one I really enjoy. But what a I just good choice. Couldn't bring it out. A really good choice. So yeah, number one. Um. So number one was going to be tied between two, so I'll have an honorable mention. But just to really be honest with you guys and not try to pull anything out for a cool factor, I'm going to break out my uh, little 22 Charger. This is the Remington Takedown. It's their um, kind of survival 22. And this is a gun that kind of pre-bug, and during the bug I shot yeah. a whole lot because ammo was so expensive. And it goes expensive. to show not everything has to be military caliber, military stuff. There's yeah, a no. lot of applications for braces. But I mean, this is the takedown. This thing breaks down to such small little um, little features. I, I don't know. To me, that's not the selling point. The selling point is how reliable it shoots and yeah. really how fun it was, especially suppressed. It, it's just a, it's a fun gun. You can. Then, then little, did it come with this or did you put it on? I put that one on. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'll put the thin one on because it was already such a small. Yeah. No. Of course, well, that, it's that a folds. twenty-two. I mean, how much? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, room do you need? Right. And I don't know why they come from the factory with a bipod, but I have what? noticed it's really fun for my daughter to shoot because she can lay down on her stomach why and not? bipod. And, I don't I know. Pull it off. Yeah. Doesn't take long, but super simple and very reliable. Suppressed, unsuppressed. And I remember when we had these in the gun shop years ago, years before the braces. Mm -hmm. They were cool, but it was like. They weren't yeah. all that useful because you're right. What right. I'm gonna do. It, it's a fun gun, squirrel hunt, target shoot, and I don't know. It just it, it stuck with me all year. 
And uh, you've got an honorable mention or kind of a quasi. Yeah, well, there's two, but I'll break out the, the main one. I could go one with pistols because they're kind of my favorite, but yeah, it's going to be my uh, pistoled universal sound there, uh, 870. And <clears throat> this gun's just stinking awesome. It's super lightweight and it's super simple and basic but yeah. didn't really know if this qualified as a pistol well, yeah because uh, whereas the the pistol sbr thing that the but shotguns are in their own category right. and overall length requirements are there that aren't there on pistol. but still arm braces would affect them because correct of the thing so we weren't able to shoot any ironically if you put a a uh, like a raptor bird's head type grip on it right. which would make it shorter it would be illegal but putting mm -hmm. the brace on wasn't good for a while. Nope. But yeah, super simple, super easel, easel, super reliable. Yeah. And my number one is actually the thing that came up surprisingly in the last live stream and one that I've wanted you to shoot for a long time, but obviously just wasn't doable. Oh man. Yeah. Dude, check it out. What a beauty. So your number one, huh? Is this an IWI Uzi? Yep. Beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Golly. Because I had the Uzi Pro, the old school one. Right. And just having an arm brace makes or breaks that shooting experience. It really does. Yeah, you, you have to have something. Something. Because what it does, it's not so much recoil, but it, it, it torques well, it just in your, balances. It torques in your hand weird without something, another it, it, point of contact. Well, it's such a large grip for that mag fitment. It seems like you need that little shoulder rest, mm -hmm. you know, or arm brace or, or something on there. Yeah, what a great choice, man. And, yeah, it, it came up on the live stream recently, mm -hmm. and uh, they're just... Apparently, they're kind of hard to get now. And, and well, I, think, I think it was a sleeper. Like, people... For were, sure. People kind of passed them up when they were around, and I think that's really a shame because... I think Call well, of Duty may have helped make these back so popular, mm -hmm. you know? Th these are just, to me, a timeless gun. This is a gun that, if you have an opportunity to buy it at a decent price, you should just buy it because I, I think this is an awesome choice, man. Yeah. What I mean, a great To get an one. actual factory Uzi, yeah. even if it's, yeah, it's the modern style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But still factory Uzi. Man, I may be pretty so, excited to shoot this one. There you go, guys. Those are our picks, and uh, now we're going to go out and run a few rounds and discuss Point and around. hang out, and hope all you guys are having a good holiday season so far. <laughs> Happy, uh, we already got past Turkey. Yeah, what, days, whatever so we're on now. Yeah. It, comes out Christmas, it all, it all Hanukkah, happens so quick. Festivus. It's, I think around here it's Festivus. It is Festivus. Yeah. Gun. Slappy slap gun. POF. SCW finally again. Galil time. This is um, more or less loud time. This will wake everybody up. Gosh, I love this gun. Sounds like Vietnam. Midwest. Now the Remington 22. If you're wondering why it's jamming, I think it's because I was holding the mag back while we were shooting. <laughs> Uzi Pro.
Hi, Misha here, and uh, we had a good day shooting Bryce guns, but we ran out of time to record much of a talk afterwards. It was either record a talk with Fox that evening or do a live stream, and said we're going to try to do a live stream that Thursday, so that's what we did. So it's just me here wrapping things up. We had a great time. The Bryce guns all shot well, except for his little Remington there, but that's 22s for you. It could be that he hadn't cleaned the gun in a while. could be that hit the mag he was using or the ammo 22s can be ammo but everything else went fine including my number one pick here the uzi pro which we'll do a full video on or have done a full video on depending on when this comes out <laughs> but yeah the scw was great to revisit the midwest i know j rose also shot it that's been a solid gun and has held up well you know, the POF we both own, and it's just a great choice. The, the the MP5 era we live in right now is truly the golden age because you can get an HK, SP5 or SP5K or SP5, uh, what is it, PDW. You can get a POF. You can get the uh, MKEs made by Century and so on and so forth. This is a great time for MP5 fans. And the arm brace situation just makes them even better because you don't have to compromise with either a long barrel or no stock or SBR. Great time for an MP5. So that was a good, solid pick on his end. The shotgun situation is interesting, but have, being able to have a shorty shotgun, as long as the overall length is at least 26 inches, you're good. So we didn't shoot it that day, but that was his honorable mention. Anywho... And I think it's kind of interesting that neither of us picked an AK, unless you consider his Galil Ace, which you can. Of course, I own a similar gun, same size, but mine's 5.56 with the Rock and Lock mags. He went with the 7.62x39. Personally, while I like the 7.62x39, I like it in a carbine. Uh, that's just me. I think it's also cool that Vietnam has adopted the Ace in 7.62x39, at least a variant of it. So cool it was a great day it was just fun to be able to get out with braces again share a couple of guns with each other that we'd wanted to do on video but couldn't so what about you what braced guns have you really wanted to shoot all year and haven't been able to and i'm sure we all pulled our braces off and just now put them back on so because we're all we're all there with it right guys or did you just go the SBR route? Did you just finally give up and SBR your brace guns? Let us know, you know, how you've handled the 2023 situation. But as of December, as the holiday season, uh, we can have them again. So whether this be a temporary thing or a permanent thing, we thought we'd get out and enjoy them. So that's why, yeah, picking three brace pistols each was our kind of holiday wish list thing. And... Whether you're celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever, Festivus, which is obviously the right answer. We uh, hope everyone has time with friends, family, kind of really gets to what this is all about. I think after the bug, as Fox called it, we should all kind of reevaluate what's truly important. So with that, best holiday wishes from Fox, myself, the rest of the crew, nephew, j -Row, and appreciate everyone's support and we'll keep on keeping on into 2024 and we all hope you do the same so from all the Mishiko crew Merry Christmas Happy New Year's and we'll catch you very soon next year <laughs>